Hi beautiful Taurus, this is your November 2018 reading. In the month of November, you're finally getting a little bit of relief because a series of events, sudden events and changes might have initiated from May of 2018 as well as the hyperactivity at work that initiated around that time is finally coming to a little bit of a halt and pause for the month of November and December. Not just that because it is holiday season starting but also because Uranus is taking a little bit of break from you. Uranus is moving into Aries on 6th of November, giving you a release from the sudden changes that were happening in your life. It's giving you time to have a little bit of perspective. Uh, so our job for the next two months is have a perspective on what goes and what does not go in our next life. Because when Uranus hits our sign, we start a completely new cycle. So you are being given the time uh, and the time to ponder and have a perspective on what continues and what does not continue in your next cycle. This is being aided by Jupiter moving into your house of transformation so you can easily release some of the things you have already realized that are not serving you anymore. Jupiter will be in your house of transformation for the next one year which will aid this journey of change that you're embarking upon. Um, not just that, Venus your ruling planet and the planet that rules all your relationships is finally going direct on 16th of November. That will be so nice in terms of the ease in relationships, the friction that were created in your work relationships and in your personal relationships that might have come up over the last month, month and a half will cool down. Because Venus going direct means it's time for harmony, it's time for love, it's time for potential new love opportunities coming into your life. Uh, but the other side of it is that Mercury is going retrograde. Our uh, planet that rules our business communications is going on a holiday from 16th of November to 6th of December. Take it as you want, but just be careful in terms of your business communications and travel between 16th of November to 6th of December because it is a time more to think about old things and thinking about what I need to clean out of my life. It's not a time to start new things but if you have to start new things whether these are new projects or these are new travels that you need to initiate between 16th of November to 6th of December just be careful in terms of planning of those or just be care just be aware that there are things that may not go in the direction or may not go uh, on schedule as you have thought they should. So either be flexible or be very particular in terms of planning of those things between 16th of November to 6th of December. Let me give you a few important dates to top it all up and then we'll go into the detail reading. So from 9th to 11th of November are great dates to book a meeting, whether it is a meeting with your supervisor or it is meeting with somebody who you have been having frictions uh, with because of the uh, Mars um, action that's happening for the last six months or because of the Venus retrograde if there were any work frictions any personal frictions that might have been created or just you want to make a point you make want to make a pitch you want to convince somebody about your viewpoint 9th and 11th of November are a great day for that even 12th of November but days falling 12th of November are not great to get into details because Mercury will be almost going uh, retrograde around 15th and 16th of November and it will also be sitting with the confusion of Neptune. So days falling that from 13th of November they are better for dreaming, they are better for looking at the bigger picture, they are better for imagining what your future could be uh, considering things are resolving in your life and also it's a great time to reach out to some new network, socialize, party. It's it's the second half of the month which will be focused upon all of that. Socializing, being out and about, spending time with your partner. All of those good things are coming our way this month. Um, the other dates to be careful about are uh, 19th to 20th of November they are the dates of over optimism to some extent so just take the things that are coming your way with a pinch of salt around 19th or 20th of November dates around 25th or 26th of November there are chances of some verbal friction it may not be you just that people around you might be saying things that might be a little bit of cutting because uh, Mercury is meeting Mars this is friction in discussions uh, these can be very healthy frictions which might result in 
and some uh, some constructive action but at the same time just be careful not to take things personally down around 25th to 26th of november days following that is beautiful because on 27th of november you have sun mercury and jupiter combining together great time to release the old cycle release the things that are not serving you and great time for intimacy and being out with your loved ones um chances of romance are abundant this month and uh, i'll suggest that especially after around 15th and 16th of november enjoy yourself um let's get into the detail of this reading i'll go over the dates i'll leave time stamps as usual in the comments so you can come back to these specific dates during the course of the month i'll be doing your detailed 2019 reading but i did not combine that with the month of november because the themes of 2019 are different because uranus is going direct on 6th of january itself so right off the bat we are going to start some changes from january i'm going to talk about those in detail in a separate video which will be coming over the coming weeks as well so be on lookout for that so let's dig in now so starting from the start you just had a full moon in your sign we get one full moon in our sign and yours happen on 24th of october that will continue to have effect till 7th of november but essentially you're bringing the last six months to a closure with that up until 7th and 8th of november when major changes are happening as well this was a core shaker uh, full moon because you had uranus sitting with your moon in your sign this was about emotional detachment from an old cycle you are sitting over there and it would have shaken you to the core emotionally because some of the things have been draining you you would have realized that over the last six months when mars was in your career house as well as during the venus retrograde cycle from uh, from september october till now you would have realized there are things in your committed relationship as well as in your job that are not filling your cup anymore um, and that is the cycle of culmination that you're going to work over the first seven eight days of the month and i would suggest you to do that we have um, hindu according to hindu calendar we have diwali on 7th or 8th of november it is considered the time of start of new year around 7th or 8th of november and before that we symbolically represent this time as the time of cleaning the house we literally clean the house take out the trash take out the old take out the things that are not serving us the people the projects the attachments that we know are truly holding us back especially in your career because the theme of your venus retrograde as well as your mars um, spending an extended period of time for the first time in nine or ten years in your career house was all about figuring out how to be efficient in your job how to be efficient in your career how to love what you do in work how to create a more harmonious work environment for you so the the lessons of that are coming with a, a with a shock to some extent with a lightning bolt to you as uranus opposes venus around 31st of october up until the first week of uh, november and this is also coming through to you because uranus will continue to square the nodes these are karmic destiny they're realizing are you on the right path or not are you truly what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is that where you want to go um because you you need to you are at a point where you're going to shift path whether it is in terms of going into education changing jobs or changing career so this first eight days is the time of realization is the time of introspection is the time of truly understanding what the last six months have taught you what needs to go what needs to stay apart from career there is chances of somebody uh, suddenly coming into your life because when venus meets uranus that is um, in in love relationship perspective this is lightning bolt hitting hitting you out of nowhere this could be somebody who's suddenly come into your consciousness um, and it feels like love from first sight and um, uh, to some extent uh, it it is something that you have been waiting for because jupiter has been sitting in your uh, in your love relationship in your coming relationship house for the last one year but uh, jupiter and scorpio is not a typical Ju jupiter because jupiter is supposed to bring opportunities so even though jupiter and scorpio would have brought out many opportunities in terms of relationship 
but um jupiter and scorpio does not it, it does not believe in just giving you a relationship and ha- happily ever after that's not what it wants to do it wants you to learn from those relationship on what you truly want so it would have brought about what are called bad lemons in your life there there there, there were some lemons that came and um, you probably kissed a lot of frogs in the process over the course of this year unfortunately because that's what jupiter in scorpio does it wants you to realize the gift of jupiter in scorpio which is ending its year long cycle in your committed relationship house on 8th of november is to give you the true knowledge of what do i want in a partner a person who i want to spend my life with what do i truly want in that partnership and if you are already in a committed relationship it would have brought out issues it would have brought out some of the things that are not working anymore in your partnership and it would have given you the energy and the opportunity to speak your mind very very clearly especially during the course of last month in terms of what do i truly want in a partnership especially what do i truly want in intimacy in with my partner so um the the gifts of that uh, to the run up to 8th of november when jupiter is moving out of this is um, either a new partnership coming through your way and um, or a healing in an old partnership coming your way and uh, i i think we should use the first 8 uh, days of the month to truly truly uh, truly truly read our mind to understand uh, what do i want uh, both in terms of our partnership as well as our work commitments especially the day to day work uh, what comes what stays and what goes to end the end the cycle because uh, we are going to start a new cycle right on uh 6 or 7th of november uranus is moving out of your sign on 6th of november giving you a little bit of relief saying uh, okay you have seen a lot of uh, sudden changes come about over the last 6 months what do you want to do what do you want to do with them uh which of them do you really want to go on to and which of them you think you need to release uh uranus wants to go into your subconscious house to truly realize I I don't want this I want this because the external ne- events need to hit a pause for you to be able to take a breather and realize it uh and that's exactly what you're going to do over the month of November and December till 6th of January when Uranus will turn the tide and will start going direct as well as it will start approaching your sign again that's why I did not do the combined November 2018 and uh, 2019 reading for you because 2019 is different for you it will be about overt changes right now it is about inward changes it is about self realization and it's about releasing what's not serving you then on the same day our karmic nodes are changing sign north node is moving into cancer moving away from the one year and a half cycle of focus on your career and focus on your family so the whole last one one and a half years you have been grappling with the balance between taking care of yourself and taking care of your career that cycle is coming to an end on 6th or 7th of november um north node in leo which initiated on may of 2017 essentially wanted you to take care of you it wanted you to learn what part of what way of being at work is not serving your personal fulfillment what is personally not helping you the way of being with authority figures the way of being in work or the the career that you are in what is not serving you and what do you need to do to be happier in your life to be more fulfilled in your life to maybe spend more time with your family going forward so those um that cycle is coming to an end on uh, 6th or 7th of november in time with the uh with the midterm elections in the us uh, but that's just how it is karmic nodes have to change and karmic destiny has to change and uh, hence the path to success changes because karmic nodes tell us how to be so how to be next year is different from how to be over the last one and a half years i'll talk about more in 2019 video but essentially we are moving towards more 
being on the outside versus being on the inside the last one and a half years because you were working on on this axis which i call the axis of existence um, because this is the axis of you know we are trying to make our living and we are trying to make sure that our family is taken care of and we're trying to balance our personal life with the work life that is changing to going towards more skills going towards more education going out and about talking to people meeting people socializing having an adventure being on the outside the theme and on the way of being successful over the next one one and a half years is to be on the outside and not to be on the inside is to interact with people meet people have an adventure and break down certain barriers and thought process that you have in terms of how my life is supposed to look like and how what kind of people i should be close to what kind of people should be in my life whether so whether that happens through interaction with certain foreign people in your life or happens through traveling to understand that or uh, just going for an education going for a certification maybe that happens in your life it depends on your individual uh, individual circumstances but that is exactly what is getting kick started around 7th of november and i'll talk more about that in the 2019 video because the themes of that will roll out in 2009 when right off the bat in january itself we have eclipses starting around these houses the third change that is happening between 6th to 8th of November because that's the most charged up part of the month is that Jupiter is moving into Sagittarius. Jupiter loves to be in Sagittarius. Jupiter hates to be in Scorpio. Jupiter is the planet that brings us luck. It brings us opportunities. And for the last one year, it has been in your partnership sector. So it has been bringing the gift, as I said, of knowledge in terms of what do I truly like? What do I truly not like in my partners? And now it's moving into the proceeds of partnership so you'll start seeing the results of all the experience all the painful experiences to some extent that you have been both in work partnership as well as in your love partnerships because jupiter in sagittarius brings manifestations it brings gifts it brings positivity it brings harmony it brings expansion in our life so what does it what is it going to bring to your personal uh, to your personal life is more intimacy Finding the depth of relationship in the in the personal partnership and the intimacy with the new partners that are coming into your life or the new phase of partnership that is coming into your life starting from 7th or 8th of November is the gift of Jupiter. Because on the same day that Jupiter is going into Sagittarius, you are having a new moon in your partnership sector. The second thing that Jupiter in Sagittarius will bring you is more financial abundance, especially if you're working on a partnership model or if you are being benefited from the money from your partner. So if you are in a situation where you are in a joint venture, you're getting money from your uh, from financial institutions or you're getting money in terms of loans or you're getting a debt from somebody or you, you have a sponsor for your job, Jupiter in Sagittarius improves the chances of being in a joint venture, improves the chances of being successful in a joint venture financially it also improved the chances of you going into business with somebody in that model or going into business where you are having a sponsor the third thing that jupiter in sagittarius will bring to you is the ease of transformation letting go of an old cycle of an old way of being whether it is because of some addictive relationships that are holding you back from moving into this new phase or it is an old job addiction to an old way of being in an old job which is not letting you go to this new expansion that is being promised to you that or some addictive behaviors your own addictive behaviors that are not letting you be successful it will help you happily release that and you'll start the any you'll see the first benefits of that come about by the end of the month itself um, so this is the changes between 6th to 8th of November which follow the new moon that is happening in, uh, around 7th or 8th of November new moon in Scorpio this is happening in your partnership sector so it's very very relevant to you because it's happening on an important axis this is happening on committed relationships so we see either a new committed partner coming into our life 
or we see a new fresh energy completely new chapter a new way of being with your existing partner as a result of all the rigors of um um all the rigors that you have faced over the last uh, month even a year in terms of your partnership sector this is the gift of that and it's a beautiful new moon because it's happening in um in positive energy with neptune it's bringing in spirituality it's bringing in romance it's bringing in some nice um it's it feels like uh, the day of autumn where you sit with a hot cup of coffee with your loved one that's how this new moon feels like uh, and it's especially um especially very very uh, beautiful for taurus uh, who have any any planets between 12 to 18 degree of taurus so if you're born between 2nd to 8th of may this is a completely new start for you this is a long term completely new start for you and it's a powerful deep start because the ruler of the new moon pluto is making a sextile with the new moon so that's a very positive powerful start completely transformative relationship if this is a new a uh, relationship it is transformative it is completely transformative um this does not have to be just romance it could very much be a new business venture that you are initiating um it is going to require a bit of effort because uh, seventh house is opposite to you scorpio is opposite to you uh you are taurus and scorpio is a sign which stands 6 months from you right so it's opposite to you so it will feel this attraction will feel very strong this attraction to go to this new person this new venture um this new phase of being in a relationship will feel very strong but it will require work it will require effort from you and the ruler of um your ruler venus is currently retrograde so i would suggest to wait for a day or two if this is a new uh especially if it is a new venture that you're starting with uh, with somebody initiate things a day or two afterwards when moon is in sagittarius around 9th of november is a good good time to inaugurate to initiate to write up the document uh for something instead of 7th of uh, november This new moon is also happening on a star called Zubigenavi. This is the alpha star of Libra. It's considered to be a point between a great ending and a great beginning. It is a point between September equinox and the December solstice. So it stands truly representative of a time when we are standing in between a great ending and a great beginning. And in my view, the great beginning, especially in a partnership for you, will happen more around December. This might be the first messaging that is coming to you. either it is a chance meeting or it is a new initiation or it's a thought process of a new initiation but venus your ruler will revisit this new moon on 22nd of december when it is direct that is also when jupiter will be visible mercury will be out of retrograde i feel the full power of this will come through around 22nd of december to you and uh, you should see that come about you you should um take some time if you're finding somebody right now it might be a good time to go out on a holiday with them around 22nd of december or if you're starting a new venture or you're thinking of a new venture around 22nd of december might be a good time to take some time with them and discuss it out and get into the details of the financials of it or the um or come to a conclusion in terms of terms of this partnership especially because at that time the planets will be more in the 8th house where you decide the terms of a partnership so um, around middle of december or around 22nd of december trash out the details of the terms of partnership right now enjoy that take some time out with your partner especially if you are getting into a committed relationship or you are in an existing committed relationship this new moon is beautiful to take some time out with your partner especially up until 11th or 12th of november on 9th of november we have another beautiful pattern being created by venus and mars venus and mars who have been at loggerheads all of summer creating fights and friction in our relationship work relationship as well as partners finally they are going to come together in a harmony they are working on a trine aspect on 9th of november so from 8th of november even during the new moon you will start feeling this positivity in your partnerships positivity in your work relationship 
this is great to resolve the issues that might have come about as a result of the frictions that were created at work or the frictions that were shown to you uh, over the last couple of weeks um, in your day-to-day -day routines because this is happening in your work house in your health house this is you feeling that your desires can be met and you go out and meet them venus your ruler is a morning star you evolve along with your ruler till last month um, around 26th or 27th of october venus was an evening uh, star i talk about it in detail in my venus retrograde video which you should definitely watch if you've not because you're ruled by that sign but this eight year cycle that venus in scorpio and libra uh, which is coming to an end this month was essentially about you realizing your desires and now on 9th of november mars meeting this morning star venus which knows now i want to go and get what i truly deserve you are turning you're changing from an evening star venus who's okay to accept things who are okay to go along with things to now a person who go gets what they truly deserve so these two combining together you go after what you truly deserve it's a constructive action it's end of clashes um this is you getting recognition at work for your previous efforts this is very powerful um so that's why i said that 9th of november is great to have a meeting with your supervisor and asking for you truly want in your job whether it is in terms of the projects that you should be given um and uh, there are rec there's recognition that you desire the money that you should be paid at job 9th of november is a great time to renegotiate what you should truly be paid um, also it is a good time to start a workout routine venus retrograde in your sign would have brought out uh, venus retrograde would have brought out some issues in how you look or how you take care of yourself how you are coming across to the world how do i physically look my weight my looks all of that over the last one one and a half month it makes you feel a little bit underconfident about yourself in terms of how we look and one thing i know is that no tauren no taurus wants to look bad and uh, they should not because you are meant to shine physically shine uh, so if you are not feeling good about how you look you are not feeling good about your health this is a great time to start a workout routine this is a great time to uh, to get get to the gym or start a yoga exercise at this point in time and you you'll feel great you'll feel great to do it um, on 11th of november sun and pluto are meeting together both venus and mars meeting together on 9th and sun and pluto meeting together on 11th of november are sexy energies these are complete and utter sexual attraction and this is following the new moon in your partnership sector that's why i said take some time out with your partner if you want to if that's what is happening or if you're resolving a work uh work dispute again 11th of november sun and pluto you are so powerful with that because pluto gives you the magnetism not just in your personal life but in your partnerships and your work partnerships where you sort of have an upper hand it is like having a superpower to some extent um, over others where you are able to convince others about your point of view uh so i would suggest to use that um it is uh, it is happening in foreign sector so i'll just suggest that for a limited few there is a possibility that the sexual uh, attraction is happening with somebody who does not believe who does not belong to your uh, old way of being so it could be a partner who's foreign to you uh, who's foreign to your culture who's foreign to the way you are so around 11th of november it is a great time to get uh, get more attached to them move forward with them i again as i suggested getting into the detail of this partnership getting into the detail of what the proceeds of this is going to be what is the way of being is better done in december uh, around uh, 22nd of december so enjoy if that is happening right now don't take rash actions venus is still retrograde don't make over the top commitments right now don't sign um don't sign and get, get married right now <laughs> if uh, if you suddenly decide this is the person for you just just uh, enjoy uh, your time with this new partnership um don't get into the details of the partnership especially after 12th or 13th of november but renegotiation excellent time 
9th, 10th, 11th, 12th of November, renegotiate your terms, renegotiate your projects, renegotiate what you do at job, renegotiate the way of being um, uh, with your partner. All of that great between 9th to 12th of November. That brings us to Mars meeting with Uranus. This is just Mars is saying I'm in, I'm in Aries, uh, Uranus is saying I'm in Aries. I want to initiate some new networks. I want to go out and be bold, assert, socialize. That's why I said between 13 to uh, 13 to 15th or 16th of November is a great time to be out and about in social circles, uh, taking a little bit of risk in terms of meeting some new um, new people. Mars is moving into your networking house on 15th of November. You want to be out and about in social circles right now. You will feel that you have the energy to reach out to the people that you did not previously. You'll suddenly feel, oh, this is a business um i don't know a business senior in the situation that you are or if you are in a uh, in a cult in a uh, in a uh, artistic world a uh, personality a well-known personality that you wanted to approach and you have not been able to approach so far you'll feel that you have this uh, courage to meet out you'll feel very active very bold very assertive very socially progressive during this time to make a risk and go out and meet certain new set of people a uh, new set of people so make a connection uh, net socially uh, around this time Mars moves into your uh, networking or social house on uh, 11th of uh, sorry on 15th of November what, what what else can I say? Networking time, right? But at the same time, meeting friends. So Mercury and Neptune are making a reconciliatory um, um, square around uh, 15th or 16th of November. Was there somebody in your friendship sector that you had to uh, let go after 18th of June? Because from 18th of June, you had Neptune move retro retrograde in your friendship sector. So maybe a reality of a friend came out. Somebody was not who you truly thought. This happened between 18th of June to 24th of November. So think about that if that has happened. Uh, sorry, 18th of June to 24th of October. So if you felt that over the last couple of months, there's a reality of a person that came out, a friend that came out to you, getting closure on that getting healing on that whether it is reconciliation in terms of talking to them or just finally letting that person go in your network that is very much possible around 15th or 16th of november so uh, be on lookout for that mercury is going retrograde around 16th of november it's a downtime from a business perspective in my view it's more a time to revise things review things create some plans uh, create some a bigger picture of what's about to come but not go into initiating new business project not into initiating new travel or initiating some sort of travel that is meaningful to you um, in in work sense um, around 16th of November I usually take my holidays when we when Mercury goes retrograde um, especially at the end of the year because it is sort of a business downtime um, but at the same time, if you're traveling between 16th of November to 6th of December, just double check the travel, just double check what's happening. But Mercury retrograde is an excellent time to relook at things. It is a time when we think about the things with a new perspective. And what are you looking at from a new perspective is the proceeds of partnership. So whether uh, you have, if you have initiated a new partnership in a business sense, then are you getting the right benefits out of that? Um, or if you have started a new uh, relationship with a business uh, associate or a financial institution or you've taken on a new debt or you've taken a, a new loan or you have onboarded a, a, a new person to help you support your work with you. The terms of partnership is what gets renegotiated or rediscussed or rethought in your mind. The second thing, if this is a new intimate relationship that you have initiated because you had a lot of prospects to start a new relationship, then the proceeds and intimacy of that is what is being thought logically by you because Mercury is logical mind. It is not emotional thinking. It is intelligent thinking. Will this relationship give me what I want? Because after we and Jupiter going through your partnership sector you have no fuzziness in terms of understanding what you want in a partner 
you are not at a stage where i don't know what i want in a relationship so uh, this is a time when you sort of re relook at these new things new relationships that you have started and it is a great time to release things mercury in 8th house as well as jupiter moving over there over the next especially over the next uh, one one and a half months till the end of the year clean out clean out the junk clean out addictive behaviors clean out health habits not serving you uh, clean out people not serving you heal heal from the old cycle move to the next one Uh, so details are going to be fuzzy as you are understanding from the things i'm describing it is not the time to get into business details it's not the time to get into documentation this is about broader picture broader things what helps me and heal from it the beauty after 16th of november is venus is going direct your ruler going direct you'll feel it in the core of your heart that things are moving as you want now because your ruling planet moving direct as a morning star makes you a go getter for things that help you things that serve you things that bring joy in your life things that bring more power to you in your career in your work life because venus is going direct in your career house in your house of work um and in your house of health so you start health routines you start taking care of yourself and you take care of yourself at work you do not engage into day to day activities anymore that do not serve you because you know now what truly serves you what does not um it's ca- going direct with a beautiful star of spica so excellent a uh, very lucky day i feel a very lucky star you are the most benefited because venus rules you and libra so um i think um of all the uh, of all the signs uh, taurus and libra are most benefited this month with venus going direct and um venus moving in with a beautiful star uh, smica it's a creative star it touches and gives brilliance to anything it touches and it's touching your health sector it's touching your work sector it's health it's touching your routines so you come out with brilliant solution creative solutions on how to handle the best work how to handle the health your your health appropriately and it's coming with a healing grand trine that sun is creating with a uh, chiron and north node a water grand trine is a healing um, grand trine in house of relationships so it's healing your relationships the past cycle that happened of things not working out in your partnership is coming to an end that old way of being when things were not working in your partnership is coming to an end and it is also bringing another thing uh, which is the healing of chiron in your networks this old friendship that you had to release or a old network that you had to release as i talked about previously it's healing that the loss of a friend or loss of a way of being a uh, loss of a goal or loss of it to some extent this is healing you of the need of appreciation the need of being appreciated by a friend the need of being appreciated and being accepted in a group uh, you are letting that go to some extent um excellent excellent time of getting over uh, somebody getting over a friend getting over uh, um, a feeling that i am not taken seriously i'm not taken uh, well by um, um by my social network or by my business network this is sort of giving you the oomph you're saying i i i'm i'm enough as i am venus imagine venus is a morning star you are a go getter right now why would you care if a certain network is not taking you in you are the network right now you are creating your own network you are being a uh, very powerful right now um and uh, this comes with uh, to some extent over optimism everything has its downside optimism has its downside of over optimism but um i think that's fine i think that's just how it is on 19th and 20th we have mars squaring jupiter that always gives hyperbole it's not just you everybody around you this is the time to be over the top uh, thanksgiving is there all the uh, black friday sales will be going on people will be trampling on each other to buy the right dresses so uh it's uh, it's a uh, it's over the top energy just be careful about over the top enthusiasm don't burn out during this time um you are you are working on a certain goals you're working on entering into new social groups just don't burn out in the whole process because there's a lot of action action over the top enthusiasm um a possible display of the weird you'll see that around you this is like a halloween aspect to some extent people just 
just being weird to some extent uh, and burning out in the process this is impulsive rash action so just if you feel this energy develop in you just tame down a little bit uh, when a water grand trine happens which is happening just a day before that it's a time to to heal it's a time to relax it's a time to accept the gifts that are coming your way and not to talk too much about those gifts not to um, rub it in anybody's face um, not that you're going to do it but you'll see people doing that because it's not just your transit it's a it's a transit for everybody around you then on 22nd of November, we have Thanksgiving. Sun is moving into Sagittarius. This is the time of um, everything going into your house of intimacy, everything going into your house of finances, joint finances, as well as endings. So as I said, uh, now we have Sun, Mercury, Jupiter, all of that going into your deep healing and the action to let go till the end of the month. And that's where the Sun is. But it, Sun and Sagittarius makes it so much easier to release the things that are not serving you. And it, they make intimacy go to a very different level. And that is only going to grow till December. Uh, on 23rd of November, while you're getting through all of this, there's a full moon that happens in your financial sector. Uh, a full moon brings out normally an expense it brings out uh, some sort of culmination of money as well so there are two things that could happen during this time one is uh, there's a culmination of some sort of expense that you're thinking of making it is on the mundane level especially if you are born between 18th to 21st of may or if you have any planets between 27 to 30 degree taurus it might bring out a little bit of expense so just be on lookout for that this is thanksgiving time people are giving gifts uh, people are buying gifts for christmas mercury is retrograde we are not intelligently thinking about our shopping so just be on on a mundane level be on lookout for that but on a more deeper level this could bring out the question of am I paid enough and a discussion needing for that. So at the end of the month, you have a chance to renegotiate your true proceeds of partnership. Are you getting paid enough? And that is going to happen around 26th or 27th of November when Sun, Mercury, Jupiter, they're all sitting in your joint finances. They're asking you, egging you to ask for what you truly deserve to be paid. Uh, so if there's a financial discussion that you need to have, um, you you need to probably do that around 26 27th of november because you will realize either through somebody in your friends network because mars is squaring you and you have met a lot of new people uh, whether these are business people or a friend they are letting you know that you're probably not getting your true share uh, your real share so if you have any financial discussion that is probably due, overdue i will suggest you to do that around 26th or 27th of november this is not going to happen um this is not going to happen without friction i'm just warning you because the ruling planet of this full moon is retrograde but at the same time there is no better time uh, versus 26th or 27th of november to go back and have that discussion with your supervisor with the people with the business partner um, this is renegotiation this is not a new contract this is renegotiation of old contracts and proceeds from that and uh, this could also be renegotiation of proceeds of relationship so if the intimacy or in the relationship or the new relationship that you started um, with the new moon on 7th of november is not what you thought it should be or your existing relationship needs more intimacy especially if you're born between 18th to 21st of may i'll have a talk around 27th of november and that is a great time to do it you will feel positive enough about it things will come out positively in my view because mercury jupiter and sun they are together in sagittarius um in your house of intimacy in your house of finances um on uh on 27th of no november also mars is meeting saturn so there's a long-term solution in my view which is coming out um so that's why i suggested and also to some extent, if you feel that you need to act on something in terms of releasing something for your long term good, there are projects you're doing that don't pay you enough. There are things, relationships giving you energy, not serving you enough. 27th of November, good time to act on closing some contracts, on closing some of the things that are not serving you. Again, Mercury is retrograde. Be careful of the communication during this time. But at the end of the month, 
as i said there was a cardinal square which we were involved in on 31st of november between venus uranus and the nodes and that was in fixed sign at the end of the month that becomes a cardinal grand cross a cardinal grand cross wants to do something wants to initiate action wants to go and do something about the things that it has discovered so you take action this is especially true in my view on your work sector and your health sector because venus is sitting in your a uh, house of routines so you take a uh, an action to do something about it because you want to be out in the world you want to take care of yourself and um, that's exactly what you do you take care of yourself during this month so thank you so much uh, for your time and i'll be doing your 2019 reading soon uh, be on lookout for that thank you